So here's the thing. There's a lot of RVs out here. And by and large, the industry is fraught with issues. And when you have your RV taken down to this point to have repairs done, and the manufacturer that you bought it from picks up the tab, that's not any manufacturer, that's Alliance. And um, I stayed here for the day and I worked on the rig myself. Not unlike you might do if you like to get involved in house repairs where maybe you can improve something while everything else is taken down to that level because that's pretty serious, um, even this. Even my steps were removed. Now, um, you may wonder why all this is happening and I'll tell you. The Congolium flooring that was in there had a bad chemical reaction during the manufacturing process of the flooring, not by Alliance. And it started showing stains that were unusual. So this is what you would call the nuclear option because over there, let's see if I can zoom in. Nope, I can't zoom in. We're just gonna walk over to it. There's all my furniture. There's my kitchen slide. And there's my kitchen island. Now, we're gonna go back over here. Sorry for all the movement. Hope it doesn't make you sick. They took out the coffee bar. And while it looks horrible and scary, it's not. They're replacing a broken light strip right there. So they're gonna replace that. And what I'm doing while they're doing all that work is I'm going through and I'm cleaning all of this. Not done yet, but I'm getting there and I'm gonna paint things just because that's what I do. And they're gonna replace all of that flooring with brand new flooring, just like they did here. Not only did they replace that flooring, but they replaced that entire piece of wood for the slide, for the base, which was incredible. They're doing the same thing for that. And that is my dinette slide. So while this may seem atrocious, while this may seem scary, Oh, and they're also welding some brackets here to firm up the back end to make it super strong. And so, again, while to some of you this may seem super scary, let me explain something to you. If uh, you buy a house, you're stuck with whatever's wrong with that house, new or used. Um, if it was new, it might have a warranty last for about 12 months, typical. Um, this RV had a warranty of one year, just like every other. And then I bought an extended warranty. But beyond the extended warranty, when you have stuff like this that needs to be done, that's a big deal. That's not something that's easily dealt with. And Alliance is so proud of their product and they love their customers so much that this is what they do. Now you've probably heard horror stories from people who own an Alliance or any other manufacturer's rig and they tell you that they've got problems and oh, the manufacturer's not nice. Well. You know, there's something to be said about how you treat the people that are going to be doing the work. And if you respect them in the process to get something done, they're going to respect you back. Whether they, wh whether you're disrespectful or the kindest person on earth, they're still going to stand behind their product. That's the difference. The thing is, you're going to get a lot further if you do it with honey. I guess that's the way to say it because you catch more bees with honey. And I'm not trying to catch bees. I'm just trying to get my RV fixed because I love this. This is my home and it's important to me. So rather than sit in a hotel room all day, I came out here and I pitched in um, these floors. It takes a broom to clean them. I did that because you know what? My father raised me to do stuff like that. And I also know that every single employee in this company from the very top all the way down, um, and I'm talking about Coley and Ryan Braley, from them, all the way down. They will pick up the, the broom, they'll pick up a vacuum, they'll come out here and wipe down an RV, they'll pitch in because that's what you do. You've probably heard the stories about Elon Musk sleeping on the shop floor during construction of their product line. This is exactly the same company. And regardless of any horror stories you've ever heard, I'm gonna tell you my story is not a horror story. Um, I've had some issues with the RVs that I've owned from Alliance, but in every single case, Alliance did the right thing. And in every single case, they fixed it. And in every single case, I walk away from this thinking, I couldn't have gotten away with 
ownership satisfaction from any other manufacturer like I did Alliance. I haven't owned anybody else, but I can tell you that I've met a lot of people who do own all of those. As a matter of fact, we used to have that. And um, I just know that all the horror stories that I've heard are truly that, they're horror stories. But mine, this is not a horror story to me. Now, a lot of people may say, oh, well, I don't want to be in this shape. I never want to see my slides on their side and in their back. And, and I just can't handle that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to a saying that I heard a long time ago. Show me the baby, don't tell me how much it hurts. Well, you know what? This is how much it hurts and I'm okay with it because this is just part of the process. This is how it's done. And um, I, just, uh, I just wanted to say, I'm really, really excited about what's happening and I'm proud of the entire crew that I've been working with. Everybody's got just a, a great attitude and this is truly the A team of repair people because they were all handpicked from the rest of the facility in their respective departments for what they know. And the attention to detail is second to none in anything that I've ever dealt with. So if you're ever concerned about whether or not you should buy an alliance, I'll tell you, um, don't be afraid, um, be excited because this is the same treatment you're gonna get. And uh, it's fantastic, it's just a wonderful experience. So um, more to come. And this is uh, just the end of day one, and I'm pretty excited about how far we've gotten.